In this video, we're going to discuss not the one, not the two, but the three. Three simple habits that rich people and wealthy people deploy that are self-made. We're not going to talk about trust fund babies. We're not going to talk about people who inherited their money. We're going to talk about people just like you who started with little to nothing and increased their incomes to the point that they were making 10 to 20 times the average person's income per year or millions per month, in some cases, billions per month, all from scratch. In this video, I want you to understand, if you don't hear anything else, take the three principles, the three traits, and go crazy with them, and you'll literally change your life. This video was sponsored by MoneyIncomeAndProfit.com. Before we get into the three traits, that all self-made rich people, millionaires and billionaires employ. We're going to talk about all of these videos here on YouTube, these blog posts, the 10 best habits of the rich and the wealthy, the 20 and the 30, getting up early, reading, um, wearing the same clothes. I'm going to tell you that's absolutely buckus. It, it's not true. When you're talking about someone who makes this monumental climb from average person to, in my case, I was living in poverty, abject poverty. Seriously, our house didn't have running water. And what allowed me to go from regular person income to self-employment income to business owner income? What were these three principles? What were these three traits? And I'm going to give you the first one. And it's something you should do every day. Thinking. Yes, thinking. Wealthy, self-made people think every day. They do not conceptualize. They think. They ponder. They push themselves. They challenge themselves. They do critical analysis every day. Now, why is this important? Once again, on this channel, we give you a lot of information about how there's this hustler porn out there. There's how people who are claiming to make a certain amount of money, but when you look at their lifestyle and the way that they live, it doesn't match up. We live in a culture where people would rather live on pretty lies than the harsh truth. And the harsh truth of the matter is most of this country is making poor people income. If you're not making a hundred K as a single person, you are poor. You're not middle class. I know that you have a degree. I know that your mom told you you look good, but look at your life. You can barely afford that car, the student loans. You miss two paychecks, you're in trouble. You're not middle class, you're poor. And because of the preponderance that so many people are living like that, that is middle class, it's actually not. Back in the days when there were kings and queens, we had a bunch of poor people and they were called peasants. And there was only a handful of people that they would consider middle class, your dukes, your earls, your duchesses. So the king was the rich and wealthy, the court was the middle class, and everyone else was poor. Look across the fabric of America right now, and you will see something very similar. There's only literally 2,600 billionaires in the world, 2,600. And there's about 20 millionaires. So put those people together. Oh, wait, wait. The 2,600 people are in the 20 million millionaires out of a population base of 7.5 billion. Percentage wise, it is not even half of a percent. The king is rich, the court's middle class, the rest of the people are peasants. What does this thinking has to do? Thinking is just one of the traits. You must have all three traits going at the same time. The second trait is execution. There are many people who watch YouTube videos, they get all this knowledge. They don't really execute. Execution is very hard. There's a lot of people studying, there's a lot of people reading books, but execution is critical. Execution is substantial. So first you think about what you want to do. Then you go out and do it. It sounds simple, but many people just will not do it. Execution is, call it a lab, where you have your thoughts, your ideals, and you put them out into the world. And you have a certain set of assumptions that if I do this, I'm gonna yield this type of result. Well, frequently, as many people have found out, there's what you think will work and there's what works. And frequently, you will execute and it will not work out. 
and you'll execute again and it will not work out and you will execute again and it will not work out. Which brings us to the third trait, revision. You think, you execute, you revise. That's it. Multi-billion dollar corporations have been built on these three principles. Why? Because most people don't employ two, let alone all three. And then this could be the fourth trait, but it's really a summation of all three traits. Massive execution, massive sample size. You have someone like uh, Jeff Bezos. His first year in business, he did $511,000 with a loss of 330,000. Well, 330, 300,000, whatever. He lost more money than he made. He did not have a profit. <laughs> he had gross revenues of 511 bucks and a losses of $303. But what did Jeff do? He thought, he executed, he revised. And this is the simple process because once you put out your assumptions in the world, they don't work. Many people give up. Take the typical salesperson. He'll make a call. They'll say no. And he's done. He's literally done. The most successful salespeople actually will reach out to the customer 20 to 35 times. And there's once again, going back to our analogy of the king, the court and the peasants, that salesperson who would make the 25 and the 30 calls is a king. And because he's a king, he's going to have above average income. And because he's going to have above average income, he's going to have the economic fuel to become rich. Now that I've given you this information, I want you to sit back and just look at every school, every athlete, every scientist, and you will see that these three principles are in display all over the planet, but no one ever like isolated them to you and said, look, this is what you look for. You, it was in Steve Jobs, it was in Bill Gates, it was in the Google guys, it was in Jeff Bezos, it was in Martin Luther King, it, it's everywhere. But the thing is, thinking it's hard for a lot of people because it hurts. Execution is really hard and revision is the kiss of death for many people because there are many folks who will think they will execute and they will revise. And then after that second or third revision, they'll give up. When I wrote my first book, I had to revise it six times. And this was after it was up for sale. I put my book out. I hired someone. They didn't do a good job of editing. I got the blame. I put the book out again. It was a little bit better. Uh, people came with their pitchforks and their torches and it's like, oh, this book sucks. Then I put it out again Then I put it out again and I put it out again and I put it out again. And that book was the foundation for everything that I know in the lifestyle I have today. If I had given up, if I had like, you know what, the second revision, I'm done. I wouldn't have what I have today. And there are many of you who were like this close, but you gave up because you didn't know these three principles. Now you know them, go out and execute. Think about it and revise. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.